Well, uh, in the previous video, we have understood why we need to actually understand architecture. Now in this video, we will see what exactly architecture is. As you can see from the slide, the architecture is nothing but it's a combination of software and the system components and the connections. So the system components typically is the hardware and the connections between the hardware and typically a software goes on the hardware. So that software, hardware and the connections, the combination of all of that is nothing but an architecture. Or in other words, a broad framework that explains system forms and structures, its modules and how they interact with each other. So <clears throat> as we understand this architecture more, we, need, we would know that there's something called modules. Okay, so how these modules are done and how they interact one module with another module, uh, all that comes as a part of an architecture. Or in other words, in the layman language, what it is is, uh, well, let's say, <clears throat> I'll try to take an example. Let's say you want to build a house for yourself, okay? Uh, you have worked hard, you have earned a lot of money and now you are building a house for yourself. So as soon as you decide uh, that you are going to start today, you won't bring in the bricks and then uh, start constructing the house. It doesn't happen that way. First, what you do is you come out with a plan or in other words, we call that as an architecture plan. You go to an architect, a building architect and you give your requirement as to how many rooms you want and what would be the dimensions of the, each of the room and what kind of house you want and all that. So depending upon the piece of land that you have, the architect comes with an architecture. The architecture clearly is a layout uh, on a piece of paper, you know, you would see where each building would come and what would the dimensions of it and uh, you know how much uh, area you're going to leave it for your balcony and all that. So he comes out with that plan and then he's going to give it to you and you're going to review the plan and if you like it, then you start your construction. If you don't like it, you want some changes, you go back to him, he will make those appropriate changes and then you know you start your building. So same thing happens with the software as well. So as an owner of that application, you go to a software company and you have a software architect over there and the software architect, based on your requirements, he will come. He will come out with a plan, an architecture for that particular application. Uh, you would review that architecture. The business, when I said you, I mean the business owner would review that architecture, and if he likes it, if it's going to meet his requirements, he's going to say, okay, now you're going to start procuring that hardware and start building the software. So that plan, whatever this architect comes with, that's basically is an architecture, okay? And in the next videos, we will try to understand the different types of architecture and this is when you will clearly understand what is an architecture, but this is just a definition. Now, before we start understanding what are the different types of architecture, it is very important for us to understand what is a server. Check out my next video to understand what is a server. 